The new year may have brought a lot of updated electronics in your home. So what to do with the old TVs and monitors as well as computers? Tonight, ABC 3340 Cynthia Gould shows us the advantages of e-cycling. This is where old electronics go to find new life. UAB's Recycling Center. A drive through drop-off adds to the convenience. The U.S. produces a staggering amount of e-waste, nearly 7 million tons in 2019. That's 46 pounds per person. Only 15% is recycled. Worldwide, a U.N. study found more than 53 million tons of e-waste in a single year. You know, how much of this can be recycled? Yeah, a lot of it can be recycled, Cynthia. Um, when you break down the different components on there, you have the hard drives and the CPUs. And there is growing concern about the negative impact on the environment and data security. We don't make a whole lot of money, but it's more of, you know, the being green. UAB's Michael Sims says protecting the planet is about more than making a profit. Old electronics are full of hazardous chemicals and precious metals that can end up in a landfill. Recycle Atlanta says they'll even take care of wiping out your personal data. If they want us to shred it, we'll run it through our shredder and they can even watch the process and it'll make them feel better. Many recyclers saw a definite uptick with COVID. Families stuck at home taking the time to clean out outdated tech. The majority of people that uh, I speak with here, drop-offs or customers, they companies, they either find us through Google search or word of mouth. They hope that trend continues. What's a guesstimate on what kind of tonnage of uh, e-waste you all bring through there every year? 50 to 100 tons across six months to a year. Other options, repair, repurpose, and reuse. An old cell phone can be used as an alarm clock or security camera. An outdated laptop can find a new home at a school. With a little effort, experts say we can turn the tide on this tsunami of e-waste polluting the planet. Cynthia Gould, ABC 3340 News.